Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys could be here. I'm Rooster and right now we're playing Starfield and this is where hope is built. Oh, we're free star rangers guys and we gotta keep this going. There's some crazy shenanigans going on. We gotta find a thief. We're gonna go check out Hope Tech. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to get some cool gear if we help out hope tech who knows make sure you guys like subscribe hit that notification bell don't miss out on anything we got tons coming down and more loaded up and ready so you guys ready let's kick it okay guys where hope is built we're gonna head back to aquila city you would think that deadly predators would have driven off and now that we're here look at that beautiful sign welcome to aquila city we're gonna run back in we're gonna head to the rock we're gonna go talk to the marshal the marshal is gonna give us the what's up because we were doing such a great job gotta let them know what happened on the farm but right over here at the hitching post look at who it is the hunter I was just saying that about you, my friend. Make any enemies yet? Yeah, a couple here and there. Any enemies I did make, they're already dead. <laughs> I like this guy. You meet him at the other in New Atlantis at one of the little bars right inside. I'm sure both the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective think I think he's a mercenary, ex-military. I think he's a cool guy. I want him as a, as a companion. That's what I want. The nature of things, isn't it? People start by thinking they're doing the right thing. And then your version of what's right collides with someone else's. Wow, we're really going down that line right now. He's getting all sorts of That's my point. Even if everyone is benefiting, some people are benefiting more than others. And then eventually someone thinks it's time to rebalance the scales. Better to just let people be. A single person achieving their own ends is at least honest. I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to do my thing. If best I can. I was in danger of waxing philosophical last time. No, I'm knee deep in it. I should stop while I'm ahead. I always enjoy our conversations. I will hopefully get to see you again really soon, bud. I'm guessing we're gonna pop he's gonna pop in in and around. Oh, we got another stupid ass security guard. <laughs> All the security guards say that every time I walk by one. Oh, looks like you got another off worlder. Yeah, we do. Anyways, we're in the, the rock. We gotta go to the top floor. Whoop, there it is. And let's chit chat with the boss. Well, oh, you're gonna you're gonna talk for me. All right, whatever. Go, girl boss. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Oh, yeah, it did. You Shot everybody. Need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Well, For the time being, yes. I would have liked to know why they were doing what they were doing. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Well, they're well armed. They're ex-military. Then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? No, and that was the whole point. All I know is that they stole a ship. So tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it, resentful. 
Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? Oh, this guy's going to break us in on this. Yeah. I was in that unit for a while. Oh, you're hardcore then. He's part of the 1st Cavalry. After the Battle of Mira. We learned about them when we were part of the UC. Well, when we were going to try out, they make us so listen to everything. Impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out. And the few that survived ended up in prison after a court martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Interesting. The war uh, between the United Colonies and the Free State Collective. From what I remember, the first cavalry was the group Each they were dispatched right terrible weapons on the other. before I guess they were in a battle right before the war ended and they got pulled out and they didn't want to. But a lot of folks The first cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colonies base. Here we go. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer wow. first disobeyed the order. Yeah, this is it right here. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed. So he went rogue and started killing people. He court martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Where were they locked up? Is there a prison planet? I need to know. Is there a prison planet? Can I sneak into it? This raises more questions. It's the Fester Salone on this prison planet making the escape movie three. Clues are rangers stationed out here. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. Why? He's on the Council of Governors. They're the ones we answer to. Oh, so we do answer to somebody. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. Council members of the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. Oh, so this is going to be awesome. We got to deal with the one of the one percent to get the boss us around. It's not about laws. It's not about order. And smart. A self-made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Well, that'll be good. Normally. I got to do what I got to do. What are you going to say, bud? Maintain a sense of respect with you. Our authority and our power comes from the Council of Governors. Look, if your Council of Governors is anything like the UC's little government party that's hiding so-called dead military people in the basement and using them, this is going to go real bad for you guys. Because I'm like... The UC, I ain't gonna play around. I ain't playing around. All right. I'll go all cowboy up on you. Let's grab the orbit. Let's go see what we gotta do. You're literally. Can no one else? There's one, two, three. There's like five ships and a space station, and nobody's helping her? You guys are a bunch of jokes. Thank you. I'll land when I need to land. I'm gonna go full jet power on it right now. Don't worry, little lady. Or person. I don't know who's ever's in there. I'm coming. See what we can do. See if we can help out when we can. All right. We'll take a little once glance around. Maybe there's some bad people in here because obviously she's having some issues. Doesn't look like anybody came and stole anything or anything of value. All right, she's down that way. Let's have a peekaboo through here. Just in case she has like a magazine or something sitting on a desk somewhere we ain't seen yet. 
Okay, we got another bathroom. Ooh. Oh, she's got like a brig and everything on her ship. That's kind of cool. I like that. Why is that sparking? Let's repair it. Help get her nav back on system. I don't see anything important in here. Not even a weapon or anything. Dear Lord. All right. Does that mean we're going to go back up to the top? Let's go have a look at something that was over here. That means, whoop, watch over that hole. That means this piece right here was sparking. So let's grab that. And make our way into the cockpit. Now, always check the captain's log, Kerr. Steal whatever you want from that. As long as it's not red, you're not going to get in trouble. Not to try and steal my ship. Why is nobody that's flying around you helping you? <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd oh. laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Are you I shot? You got a hole in your... ...that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits at it. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. All right. Are they still in the area? They took as much of a beating as I did. Well, outnumbering me three to one, I'd like to point out. Repair my ship? Yeah. Please. Well, don't you need to get to a doctor? Medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Okay. I think we can do that. I think we did most of it anyways. Don't need to ask for that. I'd have helped you anyway. Since you're new, here's a lesson for you. Rangers look out for each other. All well, there's only apparently 12 of us. Have reliable friends. Maybe 13 since I'm here. Plus, I bring my own crews. All right. So we're going to have to go down a level. That doesn't open. Ah, there it is. The bottom floor. The old engine room. Where Scotty is down here. I can't do it, Captain. I don't got the powder. I can't give you any more than I'd already have. Oh, you are a bloody good one, aren't you? All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> Let's go up here. Let's check this out. All right. Ship's done. Fixed all up. Thanks. That should get me home. I hope so. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Well, how about I go take care of them? Light armaments, not too fast. Pirates are gifted amateurs, but still amateurs. You'll be outnumbered, but they'll be damaged. Which should even things up for you. What, what is that? Have you even seen my ship? I got a sweet ship. Good hunting. It takes out level 30s. All right. So we're going to jump back into our ship. We're going to go take out these pirates or smugglers or whom whatever. And we'll take it from there. Let's hop away to the Razor Leaf. Now, they're literally hopped over one planet. Look at that. There I go. Look, like I'm going so slow. All right. I'm not going to take that in calling from those guys. Ecliptus. Those guys can pound sand right now. I want to take out this outlaw. Last thing I need is these Ecliptus guys being like, you know, you're in our area, right? I'd be like, dude, pound sand. You know that every time you you land on a planet that I'm on, I shoot you. Oh, it looks like the Ecliptus guys did not like them as well. Interesting. There was three pirate ships and they were helping me take them out. Interesting. They were looking for a friendship. Maybe. Let's find out. Now, you can grab any of the stuff that's dropped down from any of the ships. It's up to you. You do you. I want to have a little chat with them now. Oh, you might answer the... Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I got myself into a little bit of a shingading. I don't even remember when or how long ago. But this courier came up and he said he, he on the ship. He's like, I got to give you that. I was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> but I actually didn't think anything was ever going to come of it. And now we do. Thank you, Bethesda. That's pretty cool. Let's take this guy out. His friends haven't caught up yet. Give me some rockets. How's my hull look? I want to do a barrel roll, man. Give me a half moon crest pull. Come on. My, my grab dives or their grab dives? Oh, there's our. This one isn't going anywhere. But these guys are that kind of like the kind of people that ain't going to go anyway. So, well, they ain't going anywhere now. Oh, glorious. Well, we didn't get to kill all the outlaws, but we got to uh, hopefully they didn't send a message to any of their friends. They already attack you on site anyways, so it doesn't bother me. All right, let's get down to New Hope. Hopefully we can put all this behind us. If you haven't been to this planet before, make sure you scan it, get all the stuff you need for it, get an idea of what you need. I like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I, I heard they got some of the best transports here. So definitely want to have a look at their ships. All right, nothing that's, uh, I think it, they literally have the same ships everywhere I've gone so far. I guess we have to upgrade or use our getting our scales upgraded in ships to get better ships we can actually buy. All right. I've been here before when we did first contact. We had to pick up a, a grab drive from this place. I can walk, talk and breathe without too much pain. But I don't think we'll be talking to that guy. I think we're talking to the. The big old CIO. Ain't a requirement to join the Rangers. Still a part of the job, though. You might want to get in a little more practice behind the stick. You've got good timing. A courier just. I took care of what you couldn't take care of. Plus some. Simmer down. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time, please feel free. Yeah, let's go. I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. Well, All right, let's go meet Ron. In a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Do we call him Ronald? Hey. I don't know why that song from McDonald's, Do You Believe in Magic, came into my head. Do you believe in magic? All right, there's sales. I'm wondering if we help these guys out, are we going to get the pieces from New Hope? Stuff that we can do if we want to build our own ships. I would like that. Oh, so he's that guy. So I just, everybody on this planet works for Hope Tech. Okay. Look, we are going to need a sweet sweet cargo ship. There's lots of quests that do with like moving cargo, like and smuggling stuff. So we're going to need to make sure we can get a decent cargo ship or build our own. But if you can get one that's pretty much already done and then just kind of fine tune it, well, that's pretty hot too. I like the picture on the left. It's not too shabby. It speaks to me. All right. Oh, apparently the security is just like the rest of the Free Star Collective. A bit different inside. Just our bottom 
It's got a lot of picture frames, but no pictures in it. I wish we could, if we had a picture frame like that, that our own pictures could show up in it. I think I said this before. Wouldn't that be a cool, we have the photo mode. I don't. I got a weird feeling about this guy. I think something weird's really going on. Interesting. Let's go, Mr. Ron Hope or Mr. Hope. Okay. We found your ship. It's all good. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course. That doesn't mean your work is done. Uh, and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Oh, man. <laughs> this guy's pulling the card already hey right off the bat let's put the rulers away boys dick measuring contests over like seriously well i can't say i'm surprised mr hope doesn't know who he's talking to i suppose the chance i don't like the cut of your gym mr hope not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Perfect. All right. Was there anything unique about the ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hold. Okay. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable it, and reliable starships in the But that doesn't mean it doesn't make sense why they would steal it. Unless they were looking for a ship to move cargo. So there must have been something at that farm or in the vicinity of the farm that they need to be able to move. Maybe it's their mechs? I don't know. I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty. So it's not inconceivable. The thief could have slipped in unseen. So nobody saw anything. We have no leads. Nonsense. We vet our people thoroughly here. Holds its employees to the very highest standards. You can hold people to the greatest standards at all, but if someone's mom's sick and they can't afford the bills, sometimes they get leaned on, and this is a perfect example. If we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. I wonder if he'll throw one of his people under the bus for me. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. I get that, and I understand that part. Look, man, your ships aren't that great. Oh, here it is. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables. And a roof over their heads. Oh, he's throwing the guilt trip on me. Responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. Okay, I get that. It's like can't allow that. If so. more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. 
Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I See? considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. Look, I get both sides of the story. I don't want people losing jobs, especially good, hardworking people trying to build some ships for other people's. All right, I get that. I hope so. I would like to know who is security. That's what I would have done. I would like to know who's on security at the moment. Why would Neon? Well, looks like we're going to Neon. All right, you get back to what you got to do, and I'll do what I got to do. Yeah. Sure, Ranger. I don't like that guy. He knows something, and he's not telling me. What's up? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. No, I felt like it was a waste of time. Pick up the trail. Never been to Neon. <laughs> it was a waste of time. I was hoping to learn more. Yes, you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. Jalen Price. The rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. All right. What can you tell me about the ranger Price? He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. <sighs> What's so different about Neon? The short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. So it's like carry the same weight on Neon. So you might have to get creative. Awesome. Well, we've both got work to do. So it's gonna be like cyberpunk on the planet. It's like a whole Vegas planet. Just anything goes. Crime planet. Crime Lord Planet, all that fun stuff. All right. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. But be careful in Neil. I'll do what I can. Oh, 8300. That's not too shabby. All right, everyone. That's it. We're following this new lead we just got. We get to hop over to Neon. We're going to dive in there and see what's going on over at that place. From what I'm getting, it sounds like it's a lawless, crazy, debauchery kind of a place. I don't even know if we should be stepping in it. We're so good natured. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're going to have a good time on it. We're going to keep this going. I do not like Mr. Ron Hope. I think there's something weird about him. I think he knows something. Why none of his security guards, nobody that was working, saw anything. No security cameras, nothing. Sounds like a whole bunch of, yeah. Can you smell what I'm cooking? It's gross. Anyways, let's stay safe, guys. Keep on gaming. And like always, unlock that rage.